Well, grocery prices were up 12% in June. That is the largest yearly jump since Pink Floyd released the Wall album back in 1979. And it's not that it's just more expensive to grow and make food products. It's also more expensive to transport them. And given margins are so thin at grocery stores, much of those costs have to be passed on. One grocer warns it still will get worse. There have been waves of increases. There's another one going on right now. And I, I hear the prices that we ourselves have to charge for things, and I'm stunned by them. I'm shocked by them. I'm angered by them. Butter, chicken soared in June, all up double digits. Eggs were up 33%, according to data from Bankery. Your morning cup of joe up almost 16%. You want some sugar? That's up 11% year over year. On top of higher costs, grocers are noticing a new trend among suppliers. What they're doing now is putting a surcharge on the bottom of the bill. In other words, uh, if the bill coming to a store was $10,000, they're adding maybe 2% to the bottom of the bill that $200 surcharge for fuel. It's not just grocers. E-commerce retailers like Walmart and Amazon are also adding fuel surcharges for third-party sellers. Fuel costs are there inevitably making their way down the supply chain. So even if you don't drive, you're getting hit by higher prices, making the impact of higher fuel costs nearly impossible to avoid. All right. Thank you, uh, Christina. That's affecting all of us, no doubt about it. Then we'll get PPI today, which could even be hotter. Well, we'll see. 8.30, 8.30. Yeah.